that was a, an important point to make that Boboka was exceptional in the Earth Spirit. I don't know if he can pull off the same performance on Ricky this game. It's uh, oh, he can start out by dying. That's one way to do it. Smoke breaks, Boboka gets revealed. XXS, he's gonna skewer! Four Hero is back. Is he gonna try and take this for the team? Boboka is still revealed for the moment, but the dust, it just wore off. They have to play down a sentry wall too. The cogs push him out. S4 will get the kill and isolates XXS. He's trying to run out. s fourth body blocking him up. They need a little bit more time to attack into him. They don't have the damage. So XXS will be able to back out of here. Even with the PMS, he takes a lot of damage. And it looks like he's gonna go all the way back to base to heal up. And of course, as always, it is a way less significant loss to lose a ground courier than a flying one. He had the scan. Uh, ground courier gives no experience, and... Oh! Actually triggered us. Yeah, Jirax wants to go on Bobica. The last second of that Radiant scan revealed him, and Jirax is trying to do as much damage as he possibly can to kill off this Ricky, and He's he will him. have enough. Jirax able to solo kill off Bobica. And this Ricky Maru, the presence, if, if you don't count the courier kill, is actually pretty minimal on the map. Nyx here, they start the attack, you've got the blink strike, uh, so uh, the blink, so you can get away that way, but Jirax pounces forward, the rocket will connect, and Phoenix, do you want to commit oh, they got haunt the now. spectral haunt, burning isolated, but he's able to jump away, but the spirits fly, needs to hit the target, burning dodges two so far, watch the fancy feet go, three, four, he dodges all of them, we've got Michael Flatley, Lord of the Farm, right here on the top lane. He could actually even have been cocky there and gone for the kill on fly if he wanted to, <laughs> it's maybe a bit extreme, but... Uh, Fly was out of his spells, and he had a creep wave on him, but Burning, just escaping that, gonna be very happy with that. Oh, Storm Spirit's now gonna be able to kill off Fly, so yeah. OP burns the last bit of his mana he had to do so. No tell actually got kind of lucky, because he, he jumped back down to his illusion uh, on the bottom lane, and was able to get back into the farm without being stuck up on top. But he's got he's got 1-1-1 one, one, one at the moment. So we could potentially get the... There's double damage on Ricky, you or a little bit. Anna? Okay, OP gets a little bit of a wrong jump, and then the sprites oh, actually hit the target perfectly, nice. make it so difficult to kill off Anna. So Icarus died for Bobica, as well as Q, and not very healthy, and with the battery assault from S4, he's gonna find this kill, a little bit more mana, one second, now he's got the hook shot out, S4 goes in deep, finds a kill on Q. And there is nothing Bobica can do about that one, apart from maybe snipe off Anna, but no, Anna back into dragon form, he wants to push the lane. Six play by fly there that was kind of made up for the four he missed in a row by hitting a triple <laughs> they, if ricky can't really get any bigger impact than this over the next short amount of time there will be another tier one falling whether it's bottom or top that uh, that OG choose to go for is Jirax, he's gonna dust to over say. on Bobica. The Sentry Ward revealed him, so Bobica has to actually blink himself into the creep wave. But the Sun's Revival and Anna with a haste rune runs up and basically breathes on him. This definitely looks like an OG that have done their research on how to deal with this hero. Um, in comparison to how much Boba could more. dominate it. XXS actually is in trouble at the moment. A hookshot's available for S4, able to hit it, and that's locking him in. Skewer was already triggered, and there's no point throwing out the RP at that point. This is why Clockwork is so good against Magnus. Um, if you can force him to skewer before you hookshot, it's a very easy hit, because it takes quite a while to skewer, so you can't turn. Um, and in a, apart from that, in the mid game, if you're scared of a blink mag, you, if you hit him with a rocket and you hook on him, and sure he skewers you both away, you just team fights right now in are borderline impossible un, until mag at least has a blink. And even then, do they actually have the damage to kill heroes? Uh, OG are fairly fairly sustainable and have, of course, the counter engage of the clockwork and their course. Both Dragon Knight and Spectre are not easy kills anymore. So you gotta you gotta take it slow, split up the map, and try not to get picked off too much. The good news in that regard is. This anti mage, once he gets like his first item that gives him a bit of tank ability, will be very hard for them to kill. What do they have? Hookshot, he can blink out after. Dragon Knight needs uh, he to may not get to that point. Jirax, the hookshot comes in, and Jirax follows up on the stun. It was burning, trying to just farm with a little bit of empower those ancients. But when that happens, Anna's pressuring the bottom lane. Oh, he doesn't have his tank ability item yet, Toby. No, so he doesn't. But he is very mortal right it, now. It, it questions like, should you have gone for the Vanguard and used the into battle fury with empower is like ultra greedy <laughs> when you're playing against Dragon Knight lineups. So, yeah. I'm, I'm Storm, not really that way, big of a fan. S falls right behind him. He's got the battery on no the bar. We're just gonna cog him in, and No Tail will do the rest. Meanwhile, on bottom lane, Fly throwing out the sprites. XXS gets a jump away, but it's too much damage. Even Anna's attack follows him out. Q's got nowhere to survive, and Bobica's smoke screen doesn't really do anything. His damage into Fly, that'll do something. 
But Mr. 3 Aquila doesn't even have that much money, and G-Rex is ready to go again. No tell, that high move for speed with the phase boots. The tricks of the trade will buy a little bit of time, but G-Rex, a perfect moment, lands the stun. A quick blink up, but the urn charge is out. One attack from No tell. He doesn't see him, but the urn charge, oh. it ticks him down. He doesn't reach the shrine in time. OG kill after kill. They take the tier one tower on bottom lane, and S4's already setting up for the top lane. I don't know, I can't help but feel like this death scene is like when you try to get to an oasis in the desert and you just, you see... Middle lane or they just smoke up? Blink Dagger plus armlet on the DK? Where's the target? They don't have vision of anyone. You do have OP as well as XSS trying to farm the only safe place which is currently OG's jungle. A dust goes out, they do not see Bobica, they just see Q instead. He doesn't really have much more to offer however apart from his life. He did. Yeah, yeah, he did. Love this item from Ana. This is exactly what they need to do. Blink Dagger on Dragonite right now. It's, it's Shadow Blade or Blink. Either is good. Just go hunting, you know. Find find the Storm, find the AM. With any sort of backup plus a haunt, it's a kill. So it's what I mean. Like It's not like OG are not going to be able to kill this Roche, but it could fail. It could be stolen. Or you see Ana actually drop down to oh, the RP. They commit. Yeah. They just want the one quick pick off over on Jirax. He was right on top of an Observer, on, on top of an observer Ward. Minus two. He's a man. Minus two, plus two. Minus two. Glass is half full. So. Yep. It's technically plus four on Q. Um, what I was getting with the Clockwork is, in comparison to game number one, this game Clockwork is farmed. And this hero is actually really strong with farm. Just, he buys utility items that make him tanky and oh. he can brawl very well. Jerex. Uh, Jerex. Oh. Did anyone bring Reveal? Oh dear. <laughs> He's just a Shadow Amulet. He's been playing around with it. Now he goes for the Wukong command. Bobica, tricks of the trade. Who's got the better circle right now? Oh. He plays for the stun! It connects on Bobica! The sun rays out, so Fly will heal up. Jerex, but it's so close! That was actually crazy close. You know, when Ricky used his blink strike, you end in behind the target, but he still got hit by that outward going arc of boundless strike, so didn't manage to find that pick that he would have loved to have there. And by the way, it looks like Bobuka has changed his item build this game. Realized when you're being crushed, maybe you shouldn't go for three rings of Aquila. This time he's going for a fast Yasha. Ana is going to cruise by here and kill Q with a Hastron. Mm -hmm. But. And so, he can go down. The, the Observer Ward's watching XXS blink himself over, and with a haste rune, Ana can catch up, and he goes into the ulti form. This is a bit he of wants a... to be skewered. He's actually in a position where he's forcing XXS nice. to go into the river by blocking his path out in the bottom lane. So, what do you think IG are thinking right now? Do you think they feel Fun. like they're... No, do you think they feel like they're losing the game? Like, this game is getting out of control. They're ahead 24. No. They've taken out towers. You've just calling to... According to plan, it's just IG have slowed up their plan. Now the opportunity is Durax hiding under the cover of the Shadow Blade, hook shot forward. The Spectral Illusions actually tank most of it, but the Spectral Haunt gets them closer. Q will go down. This is the big opportunity OG were looking for. They need these kills. OP so low on mana, he can blood zone deny himself if he wants to. The Dragon Tail stun, Anna holding in position. Is there a fourth off? Is there something? There's a Lincoln Spear, Anna jumping inside. There's your blood zone denial and burning. Wants to keep fighting him. The fourth staff is there, but the RP is better. Catching out too. Now you can jump in, but Bobrika got stunned up. He couldn't follow through. It's a Ricky Maru, neither could Burning. No man to reveal, but the Lincoln Spear triggered. He has to bounce back to his tier 3 tower. They killed the Dragon Knight. That's base defended easily. OG can't do anything with this Dragon Knight dead. And Burning's back to pushing and farming again. That was a, ni a nice move from OG though here, uh, finding this pick off. And they, it hey, with this gem of true sight, they've managed to bypass the Ricky. Burning jumps over. Jirax doesn't find his opening until he finds the Ricky. Hits the perfect stun. A quick hook shot from S4. And Anna wants to go in deeper, but the RP is out. The global silence. Anna can't fight this one. Or can he? Where's the damage? Burning with a double kill. He'll end the streak. You'll go into the Nova. This needs to create space. It's not perfectly on top of the hill, but it's close enough. IG will have to bail out. And the stun, it connects on the silencer. Two for two trade off. But again, you've got no DK. No tell doesn't want to fight this one. In fact, None of OG want to. This combination of spells is very, very nice, and something classic that we've seen Fly apply in a lot of his drafts. We've seen all. Oh, oh, he is dead. In perfectly. Great word. Instant Abyssal Blade trigger as well, so there's no way for Fly to, to have any chance to jump out of that. When and Fly, that's three heroes down with only one buyback. When Fly picks Phoenix, they like to have a secondary teamfight hero that sets up nicely with the Supernova. In this case, it's Wukong's command with the Basher. We've seen them do it with Trant Protector, with Overgrowth. We've seen them do it with Earth Spirit, with all of his combination of sounds and stun. Um, it's, it's a nice combo to see him play there, it's just too late. 
it's it's been too hard for them to find oh, the, the stun. Burning didn't even need to do a pistol blade then. The gem of true sight is on the deck. OP will take it. I don't think Jurex really meant to hold on to the gem of true sight when he went in for that suicidal play. Down stride, but that's a long time. That that is a really long time actually. Well, I want to see it. Let's go. Yeah, look at the fight. Let him jump in. Public is like, wait for me! Oh, fly! Don't take me! Orca's up, they jump in quickly. Anna actually jumps into force. It's good splash damage. Magnus will fall. Frig the RP up with the mana void. It's so much damage onto the DK. He can't survive it. Durex has to go into the Wukong command. Actually gets a double stun. Both the Ricky plus all spirit caught out. S4 couldn't create the space, however, even with the cost. A triple kill for burning. And that may be all she wrote. Invictus Gaming have all of the power, aka they have the burning. Looking to push him through the mid. Easy bashes onto the spec. They will actually retreat. No big ultimates available left anymore. They forced two buybacks and three of their heroes are low health. That's more than good enough. Uh, we did get to see the tricks of the trade there, by the way. He used it on the Magnus, who... Roshan is up, and this may be like their hallelujah play at the moment. They're probably thinking IG are in there doing it. Jirax with the Shadow Blade. Just creeping around the back. Remember that RP is still available and a big pick if they can take it. Tricks of the trade is out. Hooks on him from S4. He needs to create space, but he's locked no tail inside the cogs. Combining him with the Nova. Burning. He'll have to blink away. Able to do so. It's the Nova ineffective. And you've already lost no tail. The RP. Blink skewer. Dragging back the Dragon Knight. And that will be the game. They've lost two of their big heroes with no buybacks available. The bottom wave is pushing in. Burning will help kill off Roshan, but he doesn't even need the egg at this point in the game. Well, they're going to throw this on the Storm Spirits. Great Aegis Carrier. Jarek's doing his best here. Oh, but over God, he knew! He had the Quirly Blade out, he jumped up, he went for the silence, and you'll lose Jirax as well! You don't Monkey King Bobaka. It just doesn't happen. They will be the favorites, yeah. based on this game. And arguably, maybe the game one wasn't as hot, but still, there were some, some good fight in that as well. So, um, IG are just looking in this series, are just looking on another level. Well, I actually now have the tankiest of all anti mages. 3.5k life. He picked up the heart, traded out his BTs for this. And Storm Spirit, the long jump in once again with the tricks of the trade. The stun, the RP is out. Hookshot space is being created, but nowhere near enough. It is all in favor of IG. Ghost will bite some time for S4, but he still goes down to Burning, who is beyond godlike. Jurax let the ulti out. OP will deny himself up, actually giving a little more life to Bobek to survive just that little bit longer. Skewer from XSS off target. Where's your buybacks? Where's your survivability? No tell. Try to jump around, but he knows it's completely futile. It's more style points at the end. Invictus Gaming will wipe OG just like the DAC finals. If this one was only a best of three. Is that laughing there? Is that OP? <laughs> it's the entire team. They're having yeah, a great having time. A time. So go, go, please, please go, please go for throne, for throne, you fucking idiot! Go for the fucking throne! What the fuck? Go, you pussy! Yo, go, 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 go!